Solve problems involving the photoelectric effect. What is the max speed of an electron if they are emitted from a zinc surface when illuminated by light a wavelength 230 nanometers? First of all, let's convert everything into the appropriate units. 230 nanometers must equal to 230 times 10 to the negative 9 meters. 4.2 electron volts is equal to 6.72 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. And just a side note, the mass of one electron, which you can get from the data booklet, is 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31 kilograms. Think of the electron as 911. So conservation of energy. Energy of the light is equal to the work function plus kinetic energy of the electron. Kinetic energy of the electron is equal to the energy of the light. Subtract the work function. Kinetic energy is now equal to Planck's constant times the frequency. Subtract the work function. But hold it. Where is frequency in the equation? Now hold on a minute. Since C is equal to F lambda, that means F must equal to C over lambda. Therefore, E is equal to HC over lambda. There's our wavelength. So now that I know that, HC over lambda, I can substitute in my values. So EK is equal to Planck's constant times the speed of light over the wavelength subtract the work function 6.72 times 10 to the negative 19 joules and that should get me of kinetic energy of 1.9 dot 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 times 10 to the negative 19 joules so remembering that kinetic energy is equal to half the mass times velocity squared velocity is equal to square root of 2 times the kinetic energy over the mass since I know that, I multiply by the kinetic energy I just found over the mass of an electron, 911. Therefore, velocity is equal to 6.5 times 10 to the 5 meters per second. And it's 2 sigdig since my work function is 4.2 electron volts. Here are some common mistakes. If I have negative energy, it's either A, I'm doing something wrong, or B, the energy of the light does not overcome the work function. Here is another question. Pause for a while and have this a try for yourself. Welcome back. So I know that my work function is equal to HC over lambda naught. I need to find the threshold wavelength, which is the lambda naught. Lambda naught equals to HC over the work function, but the work function is in electron volts. So 3.4 electron volts is equal to 5.44 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. Lambda naught is now equal to 6.63 Planck's constant times the speed of light. over the work function which should give me a wavelength to 3 sig digs of 366 nanometers that's the maximum wavelength that we can use in order for us to free an electron moving on to B I know that E is equal to EK plus the work function. EK is equal to the wave of energy, or energy of light, subtract the work function. EK is equal to 9.94 dot 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 times 10 to the negative 19 joules, subtract 5.44 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. This gives me a kinetic energy 
of 4.51 times 10 to the negative 19 joules, or in an electron volt, 2.82 electron volts. So remember that the electrical energy is equal to the kinetic energy, E equals to EK, and EV is equal to EVS, stopping voltage is equal to EK, stopping voltage is equal to the kinetic energy over the charge of an electron. Therefore, the stopping voltage is equal to 4.5 dot 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 times 10 to the negative 19 joules over 1.60 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs, which equals to 3 sig digs of 4.95 times 10 to the 5 megavolts.